Hi everyone. In a recent video I posted, I told you guys that I would give um, you more information about the exercises that I do because I don't do a traditional or a prescribed um, weight loss plan. Okay, I started my weight loss journey January 2nd, 2012. Um, and I weighed 236 and a half pounds. However, at some point in 2011, my highest weight was 244 pounds. I can't remember um, if the scale ever said 246. I don't know why that sticks in my mind, but I do um, know that the scale did say 244 pounds. So at the very end of 2011, I started walking so that when I weighed myself on January 2nd of this year, 2012, I weighed 236 and a half pounds. At this time, I'm down to 196 and a half. And I should say, um, October 14th of this year, I was down to 196 and a half, 195. I have gained a couple of pounds in the past three weeks, so I'm working to get that off. But back to my original point, how did I lose 40 pounds this year and go from 236 and a half down to 196 and a half? Well, um, I started out walking. One thing was I had a weight loss journey about five years ago where I lost 68 pounds in a little over four months. I was on the elliptical machine and I was lifting weights at the gym. I will also come home and I may do calisthenics, some push-ups, sit-ups, um, standing um, ab work. I did a whole lot of stuff. My body was always sore. This weight loss journey, uh -uh. I changed it to do something different. I was um, doing my first weight loss journey. I got stuck in the 190s and I stayed like between 191 and 193 for a few months. And it was very hard to break out of that. And I think it was because I started out my exercise so high. I started off doing an hour on the elliptical machine, lifting weights for, you know, maybe 20 minutes, then coming home, hitting the, um, the calisthenics, push-ups, da, 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 da. it was so much, I didn't have room to build my exercise up because my routine was already so excruciating. This time I decided, boo-boo, start off slow. So I started off walking at 236 and a half pounds and I said I wasn't going to get back on the elliptical machine until I reached a um, hundred and until I reached under 200 pounds and was in Wonderland. I got down to 204 and I was kind of just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So I did get back on the elliptical machine at 204. Bam! That elliptical machine, an hour a day, I was working it and worked my way down to 195. So, um, what do I do? Besides that, besides walking and being back on the elliptical machine, I only got on the elliptical machine about six weeks ago. Um, I did do the elliptical machine this year, maybe five or six times, but not regularly until about six weeks ago. Over the past three weeks, I've done nothing. However, along with the Jillian Michaels tape that I showed you guys during the entire year, I may do this two times a week. Um, as I lost weight, I built up to maybe doing it every other day. So that's this. Today was my first day doing it after three weeks. What other things that I do I do? I'm going to show you. This Jillian Michaels goes along with the kettlebell. However, if I'm just watching television, I don't you know, want to do a video because I'm trying to see scandal or whatever. I'll stand doing scandal and I'll do these. <clears throat> and I may do three sets of 15. The, that's an exercise that's on Jillian Michaels' tape. I may do this. Just stay in and do this. To work my biceps and my triceps. I may do this. To work my biceps. Okay, three sets of 15. So when I say I do my own thing, I just do my own thing. I may hold the weights here. And do these. Three sets of 15. On this arm, 
three sets of 15 on this arm. So I'm doing something. It's not a tape. It's my own thing. I may do this and lift them up going to the side. It's my own thing. Okay. So that's that. I may have a free weight. Okay. And may take this and just up, up, whatever, my own thing. I may do these. And I actually have two of these um, free weights so I can do these at the same time on my arms. I can do these. Again, I can do squat with a press. Squat with a press while I'm watching television so it doesn't have to be anything deep. Also, what I love to do to keep my sides slim is these. You could do a straight leg. Mm. And when you come over, you want to really pull in tight. And this should, you should feel it all in your obliques and your sides. Bent leg. Mm. Mm. You can even hold it. 10 seconds, let it go. All right? And then you even it out and do it on the other side. Another thing that I do for my core is, the, is these. Mm. The turning. Mm. While I'm watching television, I may do that. Another thing that I do to get cardio in is jump rope. I'm in the house. I'm not going to jump rope in the house with a jump rope. However, what I will do is jump rope without a jump rope. I'm going to demonstrate for you. When I do jump ropes, I do it in sets of 100 jumps. Okay? And um, I either do five sets of 100, and that's 500 times, or I do 10 sets of 100. That's a thousand times. I know that usually when I'm in really good health, I can do 10 sets of 100. But usually what I do is do 500, take a break, and then do the next 500. So here goes. I'm going to do a set of 100 and show you how I do jumping jacks in the house while I'm watching television. It makes it a lot more bearable for me um, because I can get my focus not so much on the exercise, but I'm watching Scandal or whatever it is I'm watching. Okay, so here goes. Um, I do different styles of them. So this is, and I do the different styles during my sets. So you'll see. So I start off here, just a basic jump. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. moving while you're watching TV and you get it in and you're done. It may take me a minute or two to get through a set of 100, probably not two minutes, more like a minute. So I take a couple of breaths. And I get right back into it. Okay, so those are some of the exercises I do at home. I may push it down and do some push-ups. Get down on the floor on my back and do some ab work. Um, I may shadow box 
just me sitting here watching um television. So I just get myself moving. I may dance, you know, whatever. Something to get yourself mo get myself moving while I'm watching television. So when I say I do my own thing, a lot of times I do my own thing. I make sure I work my arms. I make sure I work walk um, work my legs. I may sit here watching television. My television is up there and do squats. Um, I may do lunges. <clears throat> And I may do three sets of 15 of those. So it's whatever you want to make it. You can make it convenient. It doesn't have to be at the gym. It can be at home. If you don't have equipment, you don't have a jump rope, boom, boom, boom. An imaginary jump rope. You don't have a kettlebell. You don't have free weights. You can use, this water bottle is pretty empty. You can use water bottles. You can use canned goods from the grocery store. So just make it happen. All right, you guys have a good day.